Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back if you've been hanging around for a long time. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything. Um, but today I decided this is the day to uh, start again. And I am here today to show you my eyeshadow collection. Um, it has grown a lot. I know my last few videos were pan the palette videos. Um, since then I have collected a lot of eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. So I thought what better video to start out with than uh, my eyeshadow palette and eyeshadow collection. So without any further ado, let's get into it because I have got a lot to show you. I think I will start with my older palettes and then work my way out to the the newer ones. So let's see what I've got. So first up is the Chocolate Elixir palette from Makeup Revolution or iHeart Revolution or iHeart Makeup. I don't know anymore. And it looks pretty beat up, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I have removed some of the shades. Uh, actually, we have here one, two, three, four shades that were from my original chocolate bar palette, the I Heart Chocolate, I believe it was called. And I took those out of there. That palette was so old, chucked the rest of it. And I put it back in this palette and some of the original shades that were in here, I was never going to use, so I took those out and instead repressed those eyeshadows that you see here. It's quite old. I've had it for a while. The repressing isn't my best work. As you can see, this is just crumbling around the corners. Um, but yeah, that's what this one is. Moving on with the chocolate bar palettes. All of the upcoming chocolate bar palettes are from Makeup Revolution, so I won't be repeating that. This is the Chocolate Vice palette. And this is what that looks like. Uh, these are all the original shades. I have not taken any out of here. As you can see, I've hit some pan. It's really good, quite neutral, but a, a little bit more exciting, I guess, with the peach and like the oranges. Really like this one. So that's the chocolate vice. Next up, I have the Chocolate and Peaches palette. And that's what that one looks like. As you can see, this is also very well loved. I have four pans. This is a really tiny one. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, all of the original shades. And yeah, really like this one. Next up, we have the Mint Chocolate one. This one is my least used out of the chocolate bar palette has all the original shades still in there i have quite a dip going in this shade but that's all the rest of the colors aren't really that loved or used yet but i do like that you get a variety of colors here this nice mossy green good copper some blues a yellow I really do like the variety on this one. This is the chocolate rose gold version. This is butchered. And I haven't really used it a lot, but I did take out quite a few shades that I knew I wasn't gonna use. Um, and I could repress other shades in there if I wanted to. I haven't gotten around to doing that. But for now, these are all cool shades, a lot of pinks. This one is very glittery, quite like this kind of yellow, kind of like a lemony type of shade, really like that. And this one is also gorgeous. It's like a pink, but it has a gold shimmer to it. So that's gorgeous. Um, this one, haven't really used it a whole lot, but I hope this is gonna change soon if I start a panning project. So that's the rose gold one. 
And then last for the regular chocolate bar palettes, I have the chocolate and orange. Um, this is what that looks like. All of the original shades are still in here. And I've gotten a little bit of usage out of it. You can see I have three pans. I'm close on some of the shades. I really like the orange because I do prefer warm tones for my skin tone and my eye color. It looks pretty good, so I like the oranges. Um, but as you can see, I still went for the more neutral shades in this palette. But again, I hope that will change when I do a project pan. Then I have two mini chocolate bars. This is the nudes one and we have the rose gold so here we have those two as you can see took out shades of this one hip panning one and this one i have used a few of the shades but not very well loved overall these little palettes are great you have about every shade that you need for an eye look with a little bit extra um, so this is a very easy one if you travel You can just chuck this in your bag and be good Next up I have here my Nabla Dreamy eyeshadow palette Really like this one again quite neutral, but with a nice variety There's a purple here. There used to be a darker purple here, but when I got this palette it was already kind of crumbly and I never really took the time to repress it and then one day it just fell out completely when I opened the palette so so yeah as you can see I've hit one pan working on this one this is getting close but really a nice palette this dark brown is insane it is so nice so pigmented very soft I really really love it and you need a tiny bit of this so it looks like I haven't touched it but I've worn that a ton of times so this is a very very nice palette and then also from nabla cosmetics i have a few single shadows that are in this random magnetic palette um i haven't really reached for these a whole lot since i got them most used is this uh matte orange one because i really do like the warm toned again um but i will be using these more when I start a project pan. Here I have some more single or loose eyeshadows. This is in a little Nabla palette, but these aren't from Nabla. I used to have my Nabla shades in here, but then I got one more and it didn't fit in this one, so I moved those. These are all Essence shades. I know Essence did do some loose eyeshadows or make your own palette kind of thing with loose eyeshadows um, and I just found these on sale and bought them all because I have got no backbone. Moving on, I have got a couple of Colourpop palettes. This one is the Nude Mood with all nude shades. Really do like this one, really love the quality of Colourpop. This was one of my first ones to try out and I mean this is a safe option. Uh, but this is the nude mood one. Then I have three from the same collection. I'm not really sure what the collection was called, but this is in a trance and it has got blues, pinks and purples and one glitter in it. I haven't really used this a whole lot because these are not colors that I wear on a daily basis, but they are very pretty. Then there is the aura and out. This has some green and two kind of yellow shades. Also again, a glitter. I see how it kind of fits into the, the vibe. So yeah, it's also a great palette. Then I have the Miss Bliss, and this is the last one from the same collection. And this is the Peaches and Pinks with, again, a nice glitter in it. Really like these shades. Those are a little bit more wearable for me. Um, but still haven't really played a whole lot with this palette. But I do really love it. And my last 9 pan palette is the Aha Honey. Which is all yellows. With, again, a glitter in the middle. 
it does have like the kind of gold and the brown and this kind of orangey yellow so I mean it is doable you can wear it every day but just not all the shades but yeah really like it and then the last one I have from Colourpop is the What Dreams Are Made Of this is the Lizzie McGuire collection again I mean I couldn't resist this I loved Lizzie McGuire I have watched the Lizzie McGuire movie so many times and I loved it still do so I mean I had to buy this and this is what that looks like love the little cartoon on the mirror I just oh I love it and then again the colors you have some fun shades like the greens the purples but also more wearable like these brown nude and orange ones so really really love this one this is one of my more recent purchases. This is the I Heart Revolution ELF palette. I had to get this. I love ELF, such a great movie. And I just saw this and I was like, I cannot, I cannot not buy this. So this is the palette. It says, I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins. <laughs> just thought that was super cute. And then the inside has a mirror and all of these beautiful shades this whole color story makes absolutely no sense but it makes me so happy to look at you have some neutrals some golds and a bronze you can wear on a daily basis and some more i guess crazy colors but i mean i'm super excited to use this more because it just makes me so happy to look at this and the packaging is just killing me i love it i love it next up i have three palettes from zueva zuva i don't know how you pronounce that um but anyway they are also with the chocolate inspired palettes i got them in a little set this is the white chocolate so blank fusion and this is what she looks like a very yellow gold and some more cool toned neutrals at the bottom quite like this one this is the caramel melange and that looks like this this is more of a warmer toned palette so you have the darker orange again these shimmer shades here to die for it looks so nice and then the last one in that collection is the Cocoa Blend. So this is more of the darker one. Still some very wearable shades, but you have the addition of this kind of ready like wine uh, shade. And then this, this is kind of like a purpley brown, I would say. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's gorgeous. And this, I mean, that's lovely. For the holidays oh my gosh so again lovely palette should start using it more okay guys we're on to the last stretch this is the anastasia beverly hills uh, norvina palette this is the only one i have from abh and it was on sale i really wanted to try it so this is the one that i bought they do have beautiful palettes from anastasia, uh, anastasia beverly hills but I really like this one because you do get a little sprinkle of more special colors like the pink, the purple, really cute color story. So I haven't used this a ton yet, but when I used a few shades, I was pretty impressed with the quality of this. These are super soft shadows. I knew that before I bought it. I've seen people pan these palettes like insanely fast because the shadows are so soft but they are amazing quality. I do really love them. And last two shades are the newest in my collection. These are from Glam Shop. Glam Shop is a Polish uh, online store. So if you are in Europe like me, I highly suggest checking them out because they have insane colors. You can build your own palette. I bought uh, two pre-made palettes and this is one of them. I mean, look at those colors like, what is even going on i dug my nail into this one so that's what that is but look at those glitters those are insane 
I am crying. Look at that. And they are so soft, so super buttery. Okay, let's see if these do not disappear on my arm. Uh, where do I? Yeah. Okay, so the trick to this is just pat them down first and then swipe because if not, you will have a lot of crumbling. But I mean, look at that. Ooh. Sorry for all the weird no noises I'm making, but this is just... Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. How can I show you this? This is really hard. I'm like filming upside down. <laughs> so it's really hard to figure out where to move. No, this is not gonna work. Okay, take my word from it. I mean, you can see it from up there. I hope that these shades are thick. Now I am gonna have glitters all over my arm for the next three days but that's fine because they are gorgeous. And then another one I have from them is the Remax, Remix palette, excuse me, again. This is stunning. Okay, my camera does not want to focus on that. I'm sorry, this is just shitty um, imagery and glitter everywhere. Um, but I hope I get my point across. These are just, insane they're stunning shades and i would recommend them to everybody i just wanna oh my gosh i'm not even in frame i just wanna smear this all over my face okay i need to stop okay so that's the remix palette currently i do also have their advent calendar that is filled with only eyeshadows and I'm on day four because today is December 4th. I don't know when you will um, see this video. So uh, I have some more of their shadows on the way, but I cannot show you them right now. But I'm sure you will see those in future videos of mine. As of right now, this was my entire eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow collection, I think. No, wait, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. I have another Colourpop one. <laughs> How did I miss that? Okay. This is the Star Wars Mandalorian Colourpop palette. I do not know anything about Star Wars or whatsoever, but I just, I just saw this cute little face. <laughs> and I do love the color story of this. This is kind of unique colors, like army green and softer greens really loved it so that's why i bought that so yeah that's all of my eyeshadow palettes please let me know if you watch this video what you would like to see from me um if you have any questions about any of these eyeshadow palettes to leave your questions in the comments below and i will see you in my next video hopefully if you do not want to miss that video don't forget to subscribe and maybe if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't feel like you need to, but it would be nice so that I know that I do make videos that you like to see. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Bye!